We're also being joined by guests on the broadcast, Mr. PKD Nambiar, who's a political analyst and who also supports the BJP. Along with that, we also have Sujata Paul, who's a spokesperson of the Congress Party. Sujata Paul, let me come to you first. What seems to be uh, slightly complicated for the common person is that on the one side, we have the centre saying that we are ready for a discussion. They're saying, Home Minister Amit Shah also in the parliament today said that we are ready for a discussion on Manipur. But the opposition wants not a short discussion, but they want a discussion under the Rule 267. They want all other business to be suspended. So can you explain to us what is the opposition's contention now when the BJP is saying that they're ready for a discussion? What is the different kind of discussion that the Congress party wants? You know, the difference lies in the rules. Rule 176 says that the discussion will be for a, a limited uh, duration, two and a half hours, and the speaker will decide when the discussion will happen. So the discussion might happen on the last day also, because it will be a limited uh, uh, time period discussion. However, Rule 267 clearly enunciates that the discussion should be done, uh, you know, for unlimited time. And there is a provision for voting at the end of it, which is not there in Rule 176. That is not such a uh, big problem at this stage, because what the opposition wants is that everything should be left aside and discussion on Manipur on post-May 3rd, situation should be done. It is just one uh, video which has shaken the uh, conscience of the nation. And uh, there must be so many of these incidents which must have happened because uh, the Chief Minister Birin Singh has already admitted that there are hundreds of such FIRs. And there are instances where the National Commission of Women has been found lacking because on 12th of June, they, they were sent the first letter on which they took no action. The internet has been suspended. There was a video of David Peake, uh, which also went viral, uh, or rather pictures, where his head uh, had been severed from his body and a man was carrying it and then finally he put it up on a fence. These kind of visuals have shaken us all. And Manipur is a part of India, but the Prime Minister surprisingly is quiet, just like the Chief Minister of uh, Gujarat was quiet in 2002. So it just seems like this is happening under a plan now. Why is Biran Singh uh, not being allowed to do anything? He was not uh, given the authority for shoot at site orders. That means the center knows that he's not capable enough to do anything. Then why is he not being uh, sent out? But what should happen in the parliament today? Parliament requires the prime minister. He is the head of this uh, government. And when he comes to parliament and gives a comprehensive uh, uh, speech on what the situation was and talks to the people of India through parliament, maybe there will be some kind of solace that people of India will find. The people of Manipur are wanting a healing touch. And that has to come from the government. And as an opposition, we are definitely not going to sit back and allow the government to get away by not speaking up. Why is the prime minister scared of coming to parliament is another question which is surprising all of us. If he does not want this kind of situation in Manipur, should he not be speaking? All parties which are part of India want the Prime Minister in Parliament and discussion can happen after that under Rule 267. Everything hmm. needs to be left aside. PKD Rambiar, that contention being raised by the opposition that the, the Prime Minister had given a statement uh, ahead of the monsoon session. He had given a statement outside the parliament. Why not make a statement on the floor of the house and then go ahead with the discussion? Let the parliament begin and uh, let the parliament start functioning properly. Then only anybody can come and give a statement. The first and foremost is Manipur needs to be discussed. So as any other atrocities against the woman across the country. I'm not going to talk about uh, only Bengal or Rajasthan. No. But the bottom line is that the either my way or highway attitude, Briyanshi, you need to understand from the last couple of sessions, not only this session, even in the, uh, the last session was on Adani, they said JPC, then they, uh, the entire session was washed out. So yes, in the, the, the previous sessions and so on, uh, so many sessions are just getting washed out. Only on the one arrogant approach of the opposition. And look at the last time, even in the, uh, uh, the Adani issue, the JPC issue, when they have raised. And we finally, what is the outcome of that? 
the whole session has washed out and the supreme court co appointed committee has come out and said that there is nothing much uh, wrong had happened and our agencies are capable of doing it but in the whole of this whole issue the entire session was washed out now my question to uh, my uh, friend on from the congress why do we need to have this kind of an approach either my way or highway why can't we have a discussion that. to take place from the uh, defense minister uh, rajnath singh one of the senior mm. most uh, parliamentarian in our country he before the session started he said uh, we are open for a discussion we would like to have a discussion anurag thakur mm. today mm. amit shah how minister uh, ma'am hold on you have been speaking right. and i have not prepared the idea is that when everybody from the government and the senior ministers are saying that we huh. would like to have a discussion Hmm. let the discussion take place now when the dis government agrees for a discussion you set the rules for it no hmm. under this like rule this needs to happen All right. under this rule this needs to happen i mean let's not the opposition is not the one which hmm. will define the way our parliament will function it will always All right. be a we also getting information now in that uh, we 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 also getting information now just adding it here for everybody's interest that if the defense minister rajnath singh had called on um the congress president mr malikarjun kharge and he spoken to him on phone to end the deadlock that has been playing out in the parliament and i want to come to you sujatha paul on this that uh, what the government has now been saying that they are trying to come to a middle way they are trying to have a discussion on manipur but that technicality that discussion over which rule it should be discussed under that is creating a deadlock so is there a middle way that can be achieved here you know uh, there because, is no because the priority way. remember should be to discuss manipur so th should Absolutely. there be a middle way should there be a compromise just for the national interest of discussing manipur because that issue needs to be discussed in the parliament in the house of the people absolutely but uh, you tell me supposing you uh, you need a surgery and uh, you go to the doctor and the doctor says okay uh, you know have these medicines for a month because i'm going for a vacation and i'll come back and uh, look into it and then we'll take it from there this is uh, talking like that because we are talking about leaving everything aside and talking about manipur now i want to ask mr pk d nambiar when elections happen it is the prime minister who goes to every state every town every village and he delivers a speech and here what had happened in manipur was he was talking about how the center had not bothered about uh, manipur when the up upa government was in power now when they have ma won manipur and he has made promises that now we will look at you look for you and look uh, at all situations uh, you know when it comes to manipur why are we letting it burn because look at the flames the flames are now singeing mizoram does mr pk and nambiar have anything to so uh, say to that hmm. uh, just yesterday 79 people from the methi com community have left mizoram to go back to mm. uh, imphal why mm. because this hatred is being you know it was not just instigated but right. now it is perpetrated what are you talking so if the prime minister asks for both it is his responsibility mm. to come All to right. the house and speak about it in in the house well thanks very much sujatha paul and pkd nambiar for joining us we hope this deadlock ends and we hope that manipur is discussed in the parliament because the issue is so gruesome that it needs to be discussed it needs to be highlighted in the house of the people